Hey, welcome back to the channel. Got a little something on the bench for you here. So, had some people asking, how do you charge your 1S LiPos? And what do you do about your goggle battery charging? So, the whole, the whole scenario is right here in front of you, and that's what this is about. Alright, so the first thing we're going to look at is we have Whoopsters and then we have my goggle battery charger. So this charges up my 2S uh, 7200 Ma pack. So all kinds of different uh, chargers out there for 2S, 3S, 6S, whatever the case may be. Um, this is the charger that I use on the go because it's just it's just so compact and easy to use. And when it comes to 1S charging, there's nothing better than the Whoopster V3. The, this is the best charger for 1s but you do need a power supply okay so that's what this dude right here is all about and this power supply will charge 12 1s lipos and a 7200 ma 2s uh, lipo pack so really nice power supply i'll get into detail on all this stuff real quick i just want to show you everything that i have so i have my power supply um, you know what actually let me let me go ahead and go through some details on the power supply real quick see so you, you can let me zoom in on this for you all right on this power supply we have AC coming in and the output is 12 volts 15 amps so that's 180 watts it's 15 amp output so it can handle quite a bit I'll try to put it uh, in the description I'll put the Amazon link to this um, there's several versions out there but this is the one that had the best reviews and I really do think that the temperature there's a temperature sensor inside so as this heats up so let's say I'm doing my goggle battery N12 1S 450 ma packs so I'm really cranking I'm really close to 15 amps this thing will warm up and in the end here there's venting because there's actually a fan inside and I feel like this one as far as reviews go it was most accurate to turn the fan on to cool it off it has a very large heat sink in here which is great so I really do like this I've had this power supply for quite some time um, so definitely recommending the thing uh, let me zoom out of, out of here for you so yeah definitely recommending the power supply and then um, there's a cord I mean this thing's like I don't, I don't know what is it 10 foot long so it comes with a 10 foot cord which is great when you're at races or you're just out you know got an outlet next to a picnic table something like that um, and then normally there's a cord that comes out of here and it has a cigarette lighter end on it now I cut that um, I cut that I actually opened this up and soldered the XT60 to it right here um, I like that because it's sleek it fits in the bag real easy I just you know tether this all together but in hindsight, it would be so easy just to snip off the um, cigarette lighter portion and solder an XT60 onto it and put some shrink tubing on it, strain relief, whatever the case may be. And then you'd have a whip to come out and have like a XT60, you know, on the end here so you can plug it in. So I made a, a three-way harness. Um, I have another, I have a four-way harness as well. So I have a 90-degree adapter that I made. And then I can plug this in here like that. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the power supply because I like to have it powered before I plug in my other stuff. All right, so I have the uh, power supply all powered up. There's actually a green LED right here. It's hard to see with, with the camera lighting, but you, definitely when you're whoop racing, you, you can see the LED lit. Nice fan venting on both sides. And it, it blows pretty good. You can feel you know warm air coming out of it. It takes quite a bit to heat it up, though, because the 15 amp is, is legit. Let me get that cord out of the way. Uh, so, yeah, I can plug in. I'm not really going to go over this because, I mean, regular uh, charging. I have all kinds of stuff on my channel about how to charge batteries. Um, so I'm just going to plug it in for demonstration purposes, I guess. And then we can plug in the Whoopster. We can plug in the other Whoopster. I like to run two of them. I like to have uh, the ability to go through a lot of lipos quickly. BT 2.0. Let me show you a little something here. You see this? You see this little stripe right there? You see that? See how that's? 
I just took a sharpie and I marked the round part. So that's ground. Okay, the see the flat part there. The flat part is the positive, and the rounded part is the ground. So you can see I marked the ground. So on the whoopster, because you know when it's it's dark where we're whoop racing, and you don't want to plug these in backwards. So I just know that the dark part faces out because all all of the grounds face out outward okay so i know that i can plug that in quickly without having to struggle and st stick it in all right so i have my 300 maw pack here and i have my 450 maw pack here so let me go ahead and zoom in on these little dudes for you i'm gonna get this one out of the way all right zoomed in here try to get the try to get these in in the screen here so I have my 450 maw pack there and I have my 300 maw pack here so on the 300 maw pack I like to change the amp the amperage going to the uh, 300 maw pack at 1c is 0.3 okay now I will go to 0 0.6 because I I will run 2c charge rate into that 1s pack but keep in mind it's coming from storage voltage see here so that's like three point what is it three point nine six three point eight five is storage so from storage voltage to full i will go 2c charge rate on this lipo and then over here you see 4.35 because this lipo is a high volt so 4.35 and then i'll hit it and that's charging okay now if i'm storage charging it so let's say that this lipo ignore this voltage right here so let's say that that's 3.50. Okay, so that means it's a it's a spent lipo. It's flown all the way out 3.50. Um, I will change this to 0.3 and charge it at 1C for storage. And I'll change here. So on the storage voltage, you have a low storage, which is 3.8 uh, 3.80, and then 3.85 for a high storage. I like to run high storage on 1S. So that's my storage value, okay? So 0 0.3, 3 0.85. And then I'll storage charge the battery. Keep in mind that uh, storage charging, like discharging, let's say you charge up six packs and you're like, oh man, I don't need to run all six packs. Um, you, you can discharge on here. So basically all you do is just put it on 3.85 and it doesn't matter what this is. Okay, that's the incoming voltage from our power supply. That m number doesn't mean anything when you storage uh, or you discharge. Uh, this has a built-in discharge that's kind of maxed out the two amps, the whole thing. So if you have six lipos discharging, it's two amp discharge rate, and that's what this fan is for. Um, so as soon as you just put it, whatever you want to discharge it to, if you want to discharge it down to 3.8, uh, you can even discharge them down to 4.2. I don't know why you would do that. Uh, and then you can discharge them even lower. I like 3.85. That's where I keep everything. Uh, so 450 maw pack. Let's go ahead and uh, look at him real quick. So on the 450 maw pack, we'll go ahead and um, if I were to storage from dead, I would go 1C. So I would go to point actually 0.5 because 450 packs they're they're pretty uh, they're pretty stout. They're pretty big. And then I'll go up to 0.8, they're high volt, so I'll go up to 4.35 incoming uh, voltage. And then that's how much, right now this is storage voltage. So if I were to change this to high storage, oh, I held it down. Uh, I would change this to 0.4 or 0.5, okay? So 3.85, 0.5, and that's storage. And then you can see here that the battery's already at storage value, so everything's done. And if I want to charge it, I'll go ahead, from storage, I'll charge it up at 2C. I'll go 0.8, and then I'll go to high volt. And then that's, so really great. I love this charger. Um, let me go ahead and zoom out for you. All right, so. That's kind of everything in a nutshell. My power supply, my goggle battery charger, my Whoopster chargers. I've got 
uh, 450 packs. I've got 300 packs. So each port is individual. So you can you can literally just turn this on, you know, however, you know, on a charge or storage chart, and you can put batteries on, take them off, and just and just keep feeding it, whatever. Um, and it'll it'll charge them up, and then it'll say okay when you unplug it. Once it says okay, and then you plug another one in, it just it just keeps going. You don't have to mess around with anything else. You don't have to set up any button buttons. They're not that independent to where you can isolate the voltage uh, or amperage per port. So it's not that isolated, but they are independently charging up and down. So that's very nice. Now the discharge rate on these. So if I have six lipos plugged in here, it's two amps for the whole entire device. Okay. Uh, at discharge. So that amp, amp reading right there means nothing. That's what I said earlier. Um, and that's why I built this dude so that I can, uh, hit, hit the discharge uh, quickly. Um, I do have a video on this on my channel, the ultimate, uh, 1S discharger, I think is what it is. Um, I might put a link up here in the corner if I remember. Uh, but that, it does a pretty good job. It just takes a while to discharge, especially when you try to discharge six of these dudes. So, but that's in a nutshell, everything I can think of to tell you about my 1S charging and how I kind of do everything out in the field. Um, so yeah. If you have any questions, let me know in comments. Hopefully this video helped you out. And if it did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you hated it, you give it a thumbs down. It all works. Enjoy the breeze.